Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the new Windows backup app, as I have been posting, is now available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And Microsoft also started pushing out uh, the Windows backup app by default to Windows 11 users with last week's Moment 4 feature update. And as the name implies, the app lets you back up your PC into the cloud. And according to Microsoft, will help uh, keep your data safe and will also help moving between and installing a new PC a lot simpler and easier because you'll be able to restore your folders, apps, settings, credentials, and so on during that process using the Windows Backup app. And I have posted our whole video on how to use the app, and I'll leave that down below if you would be interested. Now, since the um, Windows Backup app rolled out to Windows 11 last week with Moment 4, I have seen a couple of comments on the channel from viewers asking why the Windows Backup app cannot be removed. And the short answer to that question is because Microsoft has said it is a system component, so it cannot be removed. Now, the good news is if um, you do find yourself uh, in an enterprise, running an enterprise edition of Windows 10 or Windows 11, or also running Windows 10 LTSC, then Microsoft has said that they will be releasing a future Windows update that prevents Windows Backup from appearing on certain user interface screens for Azure Active Directory or Active Directory users that run the Pro, Education or Enterprise editions of Windows 10 or Windows 11. So that's the good news if you find yourself in any of those environments. But the bad news is, as you can see from this announcement by Microsoft, is for your average home user like myself, uh, the Windows Backup app is going nowhere at this stage and is yet to stay, according to Microsoft. So after the future Windows update, is installed if you do find yourself in those environments as mentioned uh, the windows backup app microsoft says will not appear uh, in the start menu all apps list or in the settings installed apps list on both windows 10 and windows 11. now microsoft says the reason they are um, removing the app in a future update for the pro education or enterprise editions of um, both windows 10 and windows 11 is because uh, the app was failing to run and was displaying an error. Now they say by design, Windows Backup is not supported for Azure Active Directory or Active Directory users. So if you uh, try to run Windows Backup uh, in this scenario, you will receive the error message. This feature is not supported by your organization. And I find that strange though, that Microsoft is pushing out the app to those environments. Um, although it's not supported for Azure Active Directory or Active Directory users. So a strange one there, but nonetheless, the good news, if you find yourself uh, in those environments running Pro Education or Enterprise Editions of Windows 10 or Windows 11, in a future update, they will be automatically removing Windows Backup. But if you are an average home user like myself, um, it seems that the Backup app is going nowhere and is yet to stay for now. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.